people don't know what I look like until now. Until they start going to the movies. They're gonna see my face. Big deal. Hey, yo, what's good? OMG Hawk, one man gang, back at y'all with another one. I rose dolo from state Great to move, state. Man. Thankful to be here. Yo, real talk, I'm thankful for all the views I've gotten thus far. I do appreciate every single one of them. All my new subscribers, thank you, thank you, thank you. I do appreciate you guys. Uh, I wanted to give you guys some kind of Thanksgiving special, so I was researching real hard for a good Thanksgiving story. And it didn't take me long to find this one, so let's get right to it. Thanksgiving of last year was already unlike any of the years prior. We were eight months deep into the coronavirus pandemic. Guess what, bitch? <laughs> coronavirus! Coronavirus! I'm telling you, shit is real! Shit is getting real! Woo! Bitch, I'm scared. And we had executive orders urging us to stay home along with restrictions on large gatherings. As many of us prepared to enjoy the holiday the best we could, these three embarked on an 11-hour multi-state rampage that would end the life of one and injure 12 others. November 7th, 2020 was a magical day for 25-year-old Kaylee Lewis. It was at the Graceland Wedding Chapel where her bridal dreams would finally come true. She wore her most exquisite dress, complemented by the crisp red MAGA snapback, while her husband-to-be, 31-year-old Sean McDonald, decided to go with the sleek black MAGA edition along with the ultra-vivacious aqua button-up. Oh, no. Nasty. The couple exchanged vows in which Sean said, Let's do right by each other and Father God. In which Kaylee replied, I agree. Let's do it. After sealing their nuptials with a kiss, the couple took off on a honeymoon road trip along with Sean's third wheel younger brother, 28 year old Christopher McDonald, that would take them all the way across the country as far as Washington, D.C. before journeying back to the Nevada area. Seemingly without motive, it was decided between the trio that they were going to add violence to this Thanksgiving's menu. Fuck, I'm talking about, Nick. What? Shortly after 12 a.m., Henderson police started receiving calls to 911 reporting various shooting incidents. The trio reportedly drove up alongside vehicles firing shots in three separate incidents around Henderson. Fortunately, no one was injured in these first three shootings, but the fourth would be tragic as the trio would pull up to the 800 block of East Lake Mead Parkway in Henderson. There, at a 7-Eleven convenience store, they would cross paths with 22-year-old Kevin Mendiola Jr. Kevin was out cruising with his girlfriend, 23-year-old Jade Libby, and his brother, 18-year-old Christopher Mendiola, just bumping music, hanging out, when they had stopped at the 7-Eleven for a drink before heading home. At the same time, the hell-bent trio had stopped at the store as well. Kaylee and Christopher can be seen on surveillance footage entering the store. Christopher is unmistakable with the array of facial art, while Kaylee has some facial art of her own. Damn! Now, I'm not sure if Christopher was short on money or if he even asked anybody, but reports indicate he grabbed a gun out of their rented Toyota Camry, shouted all this for a couple dollars, none of you guys can help me, before firing a round straight through the windshield of the pickup truck driven by Jade with Kevin in the passenger seat. Jade ducked down and punched the gas in an effort to hit Christopher, but ended up crashing into a light bulb. Kevin covered her body with his as Christopher, Sean, and Kaylee continued to fire at the truck, hitting Jade three times. She survived her wounds, but unfortunately, Kevin was struck once and passed away on scene. Christopher could be heard screaming, I am God and you're not, in between volleys of gunshots. Seth Spangler just finished shopping when he was shot in the chest immediately after exiting the store, puncturing his lung and exiting his back. He ducked back in the store, telling the clerk to call police, and the both went out the back door. Seth's daughter was in the car with his two-year-old granddaughter. After shooting her father, Christopher approached her window with the gun as she pled for her life. He walked to the back window, pointed the gun at her child, before returning to her window and saying, You're lucky, and don't worry, you're not going to die. Kevin's brother, Christopher, was riding in a separate vehicle and was shot twice in his abdomen. The trio jumped inside the Camry and peeled out the wrong way down the road. 
A few minutes later, a driver on the way to Lake Las Vegas was shot in the arm by the passing trio. As if this wasn't enough carnage, the crew would continue wreaking havoc down Route 95 heading to Arizona. Around 8.30 that morning, a woman near Parker, Arizona reported a man with shaggy hair approaching her car and shooting at her. Around 10 minutes later, further down Route 95, the group shot up a motorhome as they were traveling down the roadway occupied by a couple and their children. Two more women in different cars were shot at by the trio. Fortunately, no one was injured in these shootings. Authorities caught up with the Camry on State Route 72 around 10 o'clock that morning. Before a pursuit could even ensue, Kaylee lost control of the Camry and it rolled over multiple times, eventually landing on its roof with the trio still inside. Arizona State Troopers approached the vehicle when Sean allegedly pointed a handgun at the troopers. The troopers discharged their service weapons into the vehicle, shooting Christopher McDonald. Christopher was airlifted to the hospital for treatment while the other two were also hospitalized and later taken into custody. The trio has been hit with over 50 charges related to the terror tour, including acts of terrorism and murder with a deadly weapon and are awaiting trial, although at this time, a judge has ruled that Christopher is not competent to stand trial. The judge said he is a danger to society and himself and he should remain committed until he is deemed competent. Prosecutors filed their intent to seek the death penalty for all three suspects. They say evidence will show that all three had opportunities to change the course of events or remove themselves from the carnage and that all three actively participated in multiple violent felonies along their spree. Yeah, for now we'll just have to wait and see how this one plays out in court. My condolences to the Mendiola family. All reports say Kevin was a good young man. He was into rebuilding cars and trucks like the one he passed away in. As always, I hope they can find some peace someday. That's a crazy Thanksgiving morning. I always wonder what goes through someone's mind when they do some real heinous-ish. I try to be objective, but it's hard because I can understand targeting a specific group, but it seems like with these three, all you had to do to qualify to catch a bullet was be human. But hey, if you're still here, I appreciate you watching. Drop a comment, like, share, subscribe. Thanks. OMG.